Beyond the Mic with Sean Dillon. We're joined on the Star Line by an actress, writer, education, and environmental advocate and entertainer. You've seen her in The West Wing, heard her in Young Justice and countless movies. Her latest, A Cinderella Christmas Ball, premieres on Great American Family on November 29th. We welcome Danica McKellar. Thank you so much. Danica, let's go beyond the mic. You're one of the many stars that will be at Great American Family Christmas Festival coming up November 22nd through the 24th for the first weekend. What does this mean to you? Yes, and that's that's on Long Island, by the way, New York. So um, it's, it's worth a trip. New York is the place to be you know, around Christmas time. And yep. this festival is going to be awesome. It's for families. It's um, It starts the 22nd of this month and it goes through December 29th. I'll be there this the first weekend along with Candace Cameron Bure, Cameron Matheson, Trevor Donovan. Um, and there's going to be, the festival is amazing. It's got like ice skating and, you know, gourmet food and beverage, nightly tree lightings, meeting Santa. Uh, it's all at the UBS Arena in New York. So if, again, it's I know it's, uh, you guys are in Texas, right? Yeah. So it's a travel, but if you're gonna, it's 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 nightly. It's like or every day, I should say. So whenever you decide to go to New York this Christmas season, um, you should check it out. If you're there the first weekend, I will be there. So that's extra fun. But it's Great American Family is an amazing channel. I've been working for that network for a couple of years now, and they're just great. And um, my new movie is on that channel as well. But it's it's the fact that they're that they're starting this festival is so wonderful for the fans because they get to meet us and um, you know the stars that they see on the movies, and then just have a wonderful experience of making memories with their families for Christmas. As this is your first shared writing credit, you co-wrote A Cinderella Christmas Ball. Why does Oliver Rice fit Prince Philip so perfectly? So I've done a gazillion of these movies, right? I've done this, I think this is my 11th Christmas movie in like 10 years or something, or maybe 11 years. I think I've done one a year um, for a while now, and I've done all sorts of other rom-coms. And so I thought, well, hey, you know, why don't I want to just like help write one? And and I did. And so it's my first and I've helped, I've contributed as an executive producer to the writing on other movies, but this is the first one that I've contributed so much to. And actually, it was actually my original idea as well that I am getting a writing credit, which is super exciting for me. Um, Oliver Rice is my co-star. And what's so great about him is that he's actually British. So this movie is a royal movie, as you can probably tell by the title. Uh, I play a dance teacher from Chicago who never knew her birth father. My birth mother died when I was young. And at the beginning of the movie, I find a picture of my birth mother that I'd never seen. She's wearing a wedding dress and she's she's holding a man's hand. And on the back, it says Havenshire, which is a fictional country in, in Europe. Uh, and the date is like nine months before I was born. So I'm like, wait a minute, this might be my father. And that takes me on this this adventure to Havenshire to see if I can find birth family. And when I'm there, I meet this prince played by Oliver Rice. And he has to learn a waltz for the upcoming Cinderella Christmas ball. The reason it's called that is because he is to dance with many royals and then choose his bride, just like in Cinderella. He is not looking forward to it because he's not chosen someone and he doesn't want to have to choose somebody on the fly <laughs> there at the at the event. Um, so he ends up helping me with my emotional search for my family. I help him with this waltz, and uh, it's just, it's a beautiful, beautiful, really romantic and fun story with some mystery in there. And Oliver Rice, the reason he's so great for it is because he's actually British. So usually we shoot these movies in Canada, and we just, we just find some Canadian actor who's got a great British accent, but he actually grew up in London and then moved to Canada. So it's actually legit British, which is what you want for a prince. A Cinderella Christmas Ball premieres on Great American Family on November 29th. And star Danica McKellar joins us beyond the mic for The Rocking Aid. Eight random questions. What? Danica, all you got to do is answer with the first thing that comes to your mind. There's no pressure. You said, quote, for me, a healthy lifestyle means finding balance between home life, work, and self-care, unquote. So what's the one thing you search out from craft services on the set if they are out of veggies and hummus? Bananas. I do bananas and almond butter. Where's the best place on the UCLA mm-hmm. campus? Oh, uh, gosh. The first thing that came to mind was the bomb shelter, which is the um, that's a little, <laughs> this little restaurant that's underground in, like, in the math science area. How about your favorite prime number? Three. What's the one chore you depend on your husband, Scott, to do? Oh, gosh. Uh, well, he takes out the trash, but my son does that sometimes, so I don't usually... 
<laughs> Time for a trick question. Who has the tidier closet side? You or your husband? Oh my gosh, my husband. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. What was your first computer? It was uh, a Toshiba word processor that was it had an LED screen, like a you know, like liquid. No, L- liquid display. What are they called? You know what I'm talking about, right? LCD. Liquid crystal display. Yes, yeah. LCD. How long was your rehearsal schedule for your movie Swing Into Romance? All the dancing you had to practice. Oh, well, I practiced the dances for months and then we, I mean, months, but but like twice a week, you know, for months. Favorite Broadway show of all time? Oh, gosh. Um, probably Chicago. It's just so fun. It's time for one big question with star of A Cinderella Christmas Ball, Danica McKellar, Beyond the Mic. Why is it important for you sharing your love of mathematics with young women? And how has this attempt changed you? I've been writing math books to help girls and kids in math now for like over 15 years. And it's amazing. And uh, I'm doing this radio tour this morning. And one of the other hosts said that his daughter used to be really confused in math and used one of my books. And it made all the difference in the world. I love this. This it, it means so much to me hearing these stories. And I hear them all the time, including just a few minutes ago. All my math books. I, my whole point is that I love entertainment. I love math. I love making math entertaining, especially for kids, especially for girls, but all kids, really. You can find all my books at McKellarMath.com. They make great Christmas presents. And just saying, good, you know, they're fun. They make math fun. They, they, they're fun and they solve a problem. Her favorite prime number is three. Loves the bomb shelter restaurant at UCLA. She wants you to see a Cinderella Christmas ball, November 29th on Great American Family. Yes, and I want to say that is the day after Thanksgiving. So for some people, that's the first acceptable day to start celebrating Christmas. I recommend it's Black Friday, you know, go shopping, come home, relax on the couch, get yourself some hot cocoa, and you will love a Cinderella Christmas ball. And if you like social media, um, you can. I will be live posting on X throughout the movie as well. Danica McKellar, thanks for taking the time to talk with us today. Thank you. And that, my friends, is a Beyond the Mic Shortcut. If you're enjoying these conversations, please check out another Beyond the Mic episode to find more actors, artists, and people you need to know. We'd also appreciate a like and subscribe on the Good Pods app.